Kansas City's severe weather season. The worst of the storms are, of course, tornadoes, but action is already being taken to help keep you safe this spring. Meteorologist Brett Anthony is live at a training session that helps build the foundation for a safer spring. And you're in uh, Raymore tonight, right, Brett? Yeah, I am. Hi, Brad. Good evening, everyone. We are in Cass County. We're in the Centerview building here in Raymore. In about an hour, the National Weather Service sponsors these training sessions for storm spotters all across the area. And what they'll learn is to identify some key features in clouds that give them clues as to whether a storm could turn severe or even tornadic. Potentially, that saves lives. Abby Stuckey's passion for photography, thunderstorms, and storm spotting goes back to grade school. It's just the beauty of nature because it's something that's so beautiful yet that can cause so much such destruction. Um, but just to see that natural phenomenon that not everybody gets to see. Stuckey's most memorable storm was this one. She captured it over Clinton Lake, west of Lawrence, during her senior year at KU. That's why she took a storm spotter training class. Yeah. The National Weather Service hosts free seminars for new storm spotters. Why? Well, live power Doppler can pinpoint severe weather, but storm spotters verify what's happening on the ground. The Doppler radar shows us a lot of what's going on in those storms, but especially as we get further and further out away from the radar, it shows us less and less about what's actually occurring at the ground. We rely, rely on those storm spotter reports to really let us know exactly what's occurring at the ground level where it impacts people. Spotters can be first-timers, such as Stuckey, or they can be retired National Weather Service meteorologists like Bill Geary. He adds his ham radio expertise to help lead time for warnings. It is a personal uh, enjoyment to be able to see that, the, particularly you get the, that piece of information in at the right time uh, that helps the right decision to be made, particularly when it comes down to a warning. So the National Weather Service trains the spotters, but the spotters don't get paid. They do it for free, and it's really sort of a public service in the name of safety. There are about a dozen more training sessions scheduled throughout northeastern Kansas, northwest Missouri here in the next few weeks. We have a list on our website if you'd like to attend one of them. They're free. Most of them start at 7 o'clock. In Raymore, I'm meteorologist Brett Anthony, KCTV 5 News. Well, Brett, I know you've attended a few of those, and I've seen one or two myself in my time. But uh, I tell you what, every time yeah. I see one of those, I pick up a new bit of knowledge. They're so much fun to take. Oh, absolutely. And the one key thing that they'll also learn is how to make that report to the National Weather Service. So that all goes into that decision making, whether or not a warning will be issued or they'll hold off until maybe they get another key piece of information to either issue that warning or withhold it. All right. Thank you very much, Brett. And